హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ అరుణోదయం క్రియేషన్స్ మెకానిజం ఆఫ్ రెస్పిరేషన్ ఇన్ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ ఇన్ రెస్పిరేషన్ ఈజ్ బ్రీతింగ్ బ్రీతింగ్ హ్యాస్ టూ స్టెప్స్ ఇన్హలేషన్ అండ్ ఎక్స్హలేషన్ సో డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ లంగ్స్ కెనాట్ హ్యాండిల్ దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ ఎలోన్ లంగ్స్ విల్ టేక్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ చెస్ట్ వాల్ మజిల్స్ అండ్ వన్ ఫ్లెక్సిబుల్ ఫ్లాట్ అండ్ మజిల్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ డయాఫ్రమ్ సో దిస్ డోమ్ షేప్డ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ అ డయాఫ్రమ్ okay so during inhalation and exhalation lungs will take the help of chest wall muscles and this flattened muscle called as diaphragm so this diaphragm is like a floor of chest cavity if we consider chest cavity as a room this as a room diaphragm is like its floor so during inhalation that means first step of breathing this dome shaped diaphragm contracts and moves down the dome shaped diaphragm actually its convex side is present towards lungs right so this dome shaped diaphragm contracts and it moves down so because of this the volume of chest cavity increases that means the space in the chest cavity increases so that the pressure between air molecules in the chest cavity that means in the lungs decreases because of this diffusion takes place the pressure between air molecules in the lungs is less when compared to the pressure between air molecules outside so from higher concentration to lower concentration the air molecules will move into lungs that means that is inhalation takes place understand so during inhalation this diaphragm contracts and moves down so the volume of chest cavity increases the pressure between air molecules in the lungs decreases when compared to the pressure between air molecules outside so from higher concentration to lower concentration the air molecules will enter into nose and enters into lungs in inhalation process and second step that is during exhalation the diaphragm which is contracted in inhalation now relaxes and comes to it a normal state okay it uh, it attains its a dome shape and moves towards chest cavity so because of this the volume of chest cavity decreases so the pressure between the air molecules in the lungs increases now increases so as usual diffusion takes place and the molecules move from higher concentration that means from lungs air molecules moves from lungs to outside okay this process is called as exhalation so during exhalation the diaphragm relaxes and attains its dome shape moves towards chest cavity so that the volume of chest cavity decreases the pressure between air molecules in the lungs increases so the air molecules move from lungs to outside and this process is called as exhalation and in uh, in this process in case of males diaphragm plays an important role in respiratory movements whereas in case of uh, women ribs plays an important role why because women body is designed to deliver a baby so during pregnancy if diaphragm plays an important role so because of these respiratory movements the diaphragm moves up and down during this process there might be a chance of fetus ge- getting affected by the diaphragm because of the respiratory movements the diaphragm might affect the growth of the fetus that's why that's why in case of females ribs plays an important role instead of diaphragm okay that is about mechanism of respiration in case of human beings thank you so much for watching